Hey friends, uh, this is the week six, I think. I'm not good at keeping track of the numbers. Week six in the weight loss journey. Uh, and last week I was 262 pounds and I set the goal to put together a, a running schedule. Sorry, I'm, I'm racking my mind. I just finished my run, so I'm a little frazzled. Um, my, my goal was to set an, a legit training schedule for the next six weeks uh, so I could run a half marathon with my kids and hopefully complete it in less than two hours, which is really hard for someone my size. And so there was a two-pronged approach to this. One was keep up with the goals I've already set and try to be even more strict on them. And then the second part was adhere to this training schedule, which included long runs and speed workouts and incrementally getting faster and harder as I go along. Still putting in strategic rest, but a legit training schedule. So this last week was tough because we spent the weekend on vacation. We went to a big city and went to two rock concerts and we ate out and we had not good food and a lot of it. And so rather than my goal on my training schedule was to lose three pounds in that first week, and I think without the vacation, I probably could have nailed that. But with the vacation, I gained a pound. So I'm actually at 263 now, and that's a bummer. However, I did do a pretty good job the rest of the time on all the other things. I did intermittent fasting. I didn't have added sugar. I only ate my meals and didn't have snacks. And so I did the right things. I'm cultivating good habits. So I hope that the weight that I put on over the weekend, a lot of it was sodium and water weight. And as I get back on track this week, hopefully that will come right back off. So that's the plan. Um, as far as the running schedule went, I did write that into my schedule. So I did my long run before I left. And out of the seven days, I hit my training schedule uh, every day except for one. One day, I had a, I was trying to run three miles at a 9.30 pace or 9.45 pace, 9.30 pace, and it just hurt. And so I ran two miles at a 9.45 pace. So I was close, but I didn't do the length and I didn't do the speed. Um, now I made up for it the next day by running an extra mile. And on all my other runs, including today, I'm f at least 15 seconds faster than my assigned pace. And so like today I was supposed to run six miles at an 11 minute pace. I ran six miles at a 10.42 pace. And so that's been really good. I think it's gonna help me take that weight back off. I have to do double duty this week because now I have to lose six pounds, which will be hard. Especially hard because tomorrow's Halloween and that's the time when you eat. <laughs> and so that takes me to my goal for this week. I want to have a reasonable goal. Now I did, a while ago I lost a lot of weight and for the entire year I went with no added sugar. So for Halloween I didn't have any candy. And it worked. I was committed to my goal and I was really proud of my efforts and I enjoyed it. And when you go completely off sugar for a while, it gets easy to stay off sugar. I'm not there yet, nor am I in a mental space to commit to that. And so, my goal for Halloween today, this year, is a compromise. It will be, I want to have five pieces of candy, and then I'll collect any other candy. I, and the reason I'm talking about candy as opposed to other treats is I have small children, so I'm going trick-or-treating with them, and they're gonna give me my favorite treats that they don't like. So, my, my thought is I can have five treats on Halloween, and the rest, I will put in a baggie, which is what we do with our kids anyways. They can fill a bag as full as they want and keep that candy. And then we just let them eat as much as they want whenever they want. But then any excess from that one bag, we put into a family pot to save up for another celebration, typically gingerbread houses. Um, but I will have a baggie and I can save that for another time like maybe on the weekend when I'm having my dessert, it can come from that treat bag or something like that. But I wanna have the self-control to have five pieces of candy and put the rest away till at least the weekend. So that's my goal for this week. Now I am behind schedule. According to my race schedule, I need to 
I was supposed to get down to 259 this week and then lose another three pounds next week to get down to 256. Now to go from 263 to 256 in a week that has Halloween, probably not realistic. So what I want to do is I want to hit that three pound goal that I had and then I want to lose one more pound. So I want to go from uh, 263 down to 259. That seems wrong. Oh, because I gained a pound. I have to make up the pound. So that will only undo. So I better go to 258 then. Oh, five pounds in this week. It's going to be hard. So I'm going to be, be disciplined, but my goal is going to be to 258. And I'm going to do it by meeting all those other goals that I've set, plus this candy goal. All right. Wish me luck. Let me know what you're going to do for Halloween.